The Breadman Professional Bread Machine gives you bakery-like results from the comfort of your own home. The stainless steel finish looks great in any kitchen. The panel includes controls for everything from loaf size and crust color to programming the 15-hour delay timer and the 14 different baking functions. The fruit and nut compartment stores your favorite add-ins and then inserts them into the mix at the best time during the baking cycle. The dimensions of the unit are 13 and a half inches wide, 8 and a half inches deep, and 12 inches tall, so it fits in almost any kitchen setup. The included accessories simplify the baking process. The measuring spoon and cup are essential for adding accurate ingredients. The recipe book has great tips for choosing the right baking cycles, using the right ingredients, and so much more. Before adding ingredients, you should install the collapsible kneading arm. Its smart design stands up straight and spins to combine ingredients efficiently during kneading and collapses naturally during baking. When installing the piece, make sure it's aligned properly and attached securely. If it's not connected fully, it could lead to bad mixes or even scrape the bottom of the pan while it spins. Once the kneading arm is installed, it's time to add the ingredients. Add them to the baking pan in the order in which they're listed on the recipe. When everything is added in, all you need to do is close the lid and choose the right baking function and loaf size. Choose from 14 different baking cycles and from one pound, one and a half pound, or two pound loaf. Make sure to follow the included recipe book to find the best cycle for all types of breads, doughs, and jams. For that bakery fresh bread on demand, get the Breadman Professional Bread Machine in your kitchen. The Zoji Rushi Home Bakery Supreme Bread Maker fills your house with the warmth and aroma of freshly baked bread. This bread maker makes a traditional shape two pound loaf, along with cake, pizza dough, sourdough starter, jam, or even your own custom creation. To begin, remove the non-stick baking pan from inside the machine and attach the dual kneading blades securely to the rotating shaft. Two blades ensure thorough mixing and kneading of ingredients for improved baking results. To make bread, pour liquid ingredients such as water or milk into the baking pan, then the flour. Next, add the sugar, dry milk, salt, and butter. To add the yeast, make a small depression in the flour and pour the pre-measured amount into it. Insert the baking pan into the bread maker and use the easy-to-read LCD control panel to make your course selection. The homemade course has three programmable memory settings which allow you to set the need, rise, and bake times. Select your desired level of crust darkness using the Crust Control button. An optional 13-hour delay timer lets you prepare bread at night and wake up to it freshly baked in the morning. Then press Start to begin. The viewing window allows you to watch the process while it's kneading, rising, and baking. Basic bread is ready in about 3 hours and 45 minutes while the quick course completes in just a little over two hours. Cleanup is a breeze. The removable non-stick baking pan and kneading blades can be washed gently with dish detergent and warm water. And for storing, the recessed handles on the side of the bread maker make it easy to carry. Accessories include a full color recipe booklet, instructional DVD, measuring cup, and spoon. The technology used in the Zojirushi Home Bakery Supreme Bread Maker may be new, but the anticipation of eating freshly baked bread never gets old. Making homemade bread doesn't need to be difficult. With Breville's Custom Loaf, you can bring a world of flavours beyond the bakery and add anything you want without all the preservatives. It's as simple as adding your ingredients, selecting your loaf size and browning preference, and the custom loaf does the rest. The intuitive LCD screen lets you scroll through 13 settings with light, medium or dark colour crust options and it bakes up to two and a half pound family sized loaf. The instruction booklet is a great place to choose from one of 44 step-by-step -step recipes or you can customise a family favourite. We're going to make sun-dried tomato and feta bread which will use the default crusty loaf setting that can be also modified if needed. You'll see that there are two paddles. The dark collapsible paddle, that's for the bread, 
and that will collapse and leave less of a hole in the base of the loaf. And then the fixed paddle, and that's just for jam. To begin, always take the bread pan out and add all the ingredients while it's out on the counter and make sure the collapsible paddle is in the upright position. The most important thing to bear in mind when making bread is to use exact measurements. To start, get all your ingredients out and ready on the counter in the order that it's listed in the recipe. And this always goes liquids, fats, dry ingredients, and finally, yeast. And everything should be at room temperature since this can actually affect the yeast's activation and the way that the bread ultimately rises and bakes. For liquids, only use liquid measuring jugs or cups and check the level while it's on the counter to make sure that the amount is exact. So here we have one and a half cups of water and one extra tablespoon. Consider using filtered or bottled water because the additives in tap water can actually affect the way the yeast rises. Three tablespoons of olive oil. And for the dry ingredients, we have one and a half teaspoons of salt, three quarter teaspoon of vital wheat gluten, which actually improves the loaf height, texture and structure. One and a quarter teaspoons of dried basil. One and a quarter teaspoons of oregano and precisely four cups plus two tablespoons of bread flour. This flour has more protein than all-purpose flour, making for stronger gluten and lighter, fluffier loaves. With all dry ingredients, either pour the bread flour into a cup or add it with a spoon and then level it off with the back of a knife to make sure that the measurement is exact. But don't tap the cup since this will cause the flour to settle and never use the cup to scoop directly from the flour packet as this will compact it and you'll end up with extra and that will affect the doughy consistency. Lastly, we have one and three quarter teaspoons of fresh active dry yeast. Active dry yeast works the best, but make sure it doesn't come into contact with wet ingredients. And this will ensure the dough mixes and rises properly. And be careful with the quantity. Too little yeast and the bread won't rise. Too much, it will rise, but then quickly collapse. And now add the ingredients to the pan. Got some liquid and then the fat and then the dry salt, vital wheat gluten, basil, oregano, then the flour and then the yeast. Be sure to wipe any spilled ingredients from the rim of the pan so it doesn't drop into the baking chamber. And now the bread pan's ready to go in, just align the wing nut with the drive mechanism inside the baking chamber just lower it in. It may take a little bit of jostling, but it definitely clicks into place. And then lower the lid. And this recipe calls for sun-dried tomatoes and feta, which goes straight into the automatic fruit and nut dispenser. You can really jazz up any white loaf with dried fruit, nuts, chocolate chips, and seeds even, as they drop down at exactly the right time and you don't have to stand by to monitor the progress. Any soggy food such as these sun-dried tomatoes or feta should be well drained and patted down dry on paper towel. If you have the dried packet version of sun-dried tomatoes, they'll work too. Now shut the lid of the dispenser and set the dial to crusty loaf which will give you a crisp crust on the outside, but chewy on the inside. There are no colour crust options, but by using the modify button, you could tailor the baking temperature or time for a harder or softer crust. And I'm gonna change it to two pounds, and then press select. And now press start. You can press the light to see inside the baking chamber as the dough cycles through. There's preheat, Need one, need two, where you'll see the dough ball being tossed around by the paddle. And monitor the consistency of the dough because factors like humidity or flour measurement can affect it. Eight minutes before the end of the need two cycle, the automatic fruit and nut dispenser will release the sun-dried tomato and feta. And then the loaf will go into rise one and two with punch down modes. Then into rise three, and finally, the bread maker goes into the bake mode, where you'll see the steam rise from the vents, which is completely normal. When the loaf's baked, take it out and let it cool on a drying rack for 20 minutes before slicing. If you try to slice too early, that can affect the structure of the bread. And with the 13 hour delay timer, you can wait to the wonderful aroma of fresh baked bread. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Convection Bread Maker. It makes up to a two pound loaf. 
It's really great for consumers who want to make fresh homemade bread but are kind of afraid of the whole process of doing it. We make it really easy for you. First and foremost, you have three bread sizes. So you can make a one pound, one and a half pound, or two pound loaf. You have the option of making light, medium, or dark crusts. And because I mentioned it's convection, it actually circulates the air around the bread, which makes for a better finished crust. It has 16 programmable um, options. And I want to call out a couple of them. First and foremost are the, our exclusive options, which are low carb and gluten free, because a lot of people are following a gluten free diet. And you also have everything from white bread to wheat bread to rapid, um, rapid French or Italian, and also even artisan doughs. Um, you have the mix it in option when you want to add extra ingredients like cheese or tomatoes or who knows, nuts if you're going to make a nut bread. The lid is um, removable, if you wish, and also the bread pan comes out just by pulling up. And in here we have our paddle, which is also removable, and you'll have the option during the process of removing that so that your bread doesn't have a hole in the bottom when it's finished. So let's start making some bread. Today we're going to make beer bread, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's really easy to do. So first let's start with our ingredients. This is our water. Put that in the bottom. Next is the beer, and we just put it right in, bottom also. Next is the salt, sugar, and then the flour. I'm going to do this by using a scoop because I don't want to make a mess. So you just put that in. The one thing I want to mention is that it's important to put the ingredients in in the way our IB states it because it's important to get a really perfect finished uh, bread when you're done. And the last ingredient is the yeast. We're going to add that to the top. We're going to close the lid and now we're going to program it. It's really simple. First we're going to take, um, do our, our loaf size. We just press the button here and we're going to go to one and a half. And today we're going to pick our crust size. I'm going to do medium. So you just move the button once and it goes to medium. And then we're going to um, do menu. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do um, a white. So we're just going to move this until it gets to number one. So there you go, one. And then all we do is hit the start button. And it's going to start making bread. Look at this beautiful beer bread. It'll go great with any type of grilled meat, especially sausages and mustard. And it was so easy to do. You really don't have to be a chef in the kitchen to make beautiful homemade bread every day with the Cuisinart Convection Bread Maker. The Zoji Rushi Home Bakery Mini Bread Maker is a compact, easy to use bread maker, perfect for individuals and small families. It makes one pound loaves of basic bread, French bread, cookie or pasta dough, cake, and even jam. The removable non-stick coated baking pan holds all of the ingredients you need for fresh bread. And the kneading blade secures into the baking pan on a rotating shaft. To make bread, pour liquid ingredients such as water or milk into the baking pan, then the flour. Next, add the sugar, dry milk, salt, and butter. To add the yeast, make a small depression in the flour and pour the pre-measured amount into it. Place the pan in the machine and close the lid. The easy-to-read LCD control panel lets you choose from multiple course settings and two crust control options, regular or light. An optional 13-hour delay timer can be set to bake overnight, so fresh and fragrant bread awaits you in the morning. After making your selections, simply press the Start button. The viewing window allows you to watch the process while it's kneading, rising, and baking. Basic bread will be ready in 3 hours and 40 minutes, and the quick course will complete in 2 hours. Cleanup is a breeze. The detachable lid and removable baking pan and kneading blade can all be cleaned with dish detergent and warm water. And the convenient power cord holder and sturdy handle make it easy to move and store. Accessories include a full color recipe booklet, instructional DVD, measuring cup, and spoon.
The Zojirushi Home Bakery Mini Bread Maker is a slim, practical bread maker that's perfect for any kitchen. Hi, I'm Kara, and this is the Hamilton Beach Two Pound Bread Maker. From whole grain to French to gluten free, this bread maker makes it easy for you to create delicious homemade bread without preservatives or trans fats. Operating it is simple. Just add the ingredients, select your baking cycle, and press start. There are 12 cycles, including dough to make rolls or pizza, cake, jam, and a variety of breads. You can choose from three crust settings, light, medium, or dark, and the large digital display makes it easy to view and select the cycle, crust, and load size. You can choose between two loaf sizes, 1.5 pounds or 2 pounds. There is also a delay timer. Just add the ingredients and begin the baking process later. This way you have hot, fresh bread waiting for you when you wake up in the morning. Perfect for entertaining, too. The non-stick bread pan and two kneading paddles are dishwasher safe, and the bread maker comes with recipes to make homemade bread easier than you ever thought possible. If you are the owner of a bread maker, or if you are considering purchasing a bread maker and you like to make different types of bread, whether it's white loaves, wholemeal loaves, whether you're a person that has to have gluten-free bread, or if you like to have breads from all over the world, I'd like to introduce to you the Tefal Breads of the World. You will be amazed at all the different types of bread that you can make. But one of the most wonderful things that this bread maker can do is it can make baguettes and it can make bread rolls and it's really, really very easy to do. It comes with a fantastic cookbook and it tells you exactly what to do. Let me show you how easy it is to make French baguettes following the Tefal Breads of the World recipe book. What you have to do is open up the bread maker Take out the tin and by following the ingredients, pop them in. First we're going to put in the water. The next thing that goes in is a teaspoon of salt. There we go. Now it's very important to make sure that by following the recipe book, the ingredients go in the exact way to ensure you're getting perfect bread. You don't have to worry about any guesswork, it's all done for you. The last thing to go in is the yeast. It's that simple. Then all we have to do is to pop it back in and with this recipe you can make either four or even up to eight baguettes. We pop the tin back in, pop down the lid and we turn it on. Voila! An hour and ten minutes has now passed by and our dough is ready for the baguettes. Now you may ask, how do you shape a baguette? Well, in the Tefal Breads of the World cookbook, we even give you diagrams and show you exactly what to do. So we've made it very easy for you. So let's get the dough out. First of all though, I'm just going to pop a little bit of flour down to make it quite easy to blend it. Take the dough, blend it into a nice little ball. We're going to cut it in half. And half again. Now you can of course make a double batch and make eight baguettes, but we're only doing four. Just going to put the baguette into shape. Fold it in half. Thumb it down. Once more, and then give it a little roll. We're then just going to pop it into the tin. The next step is to just glaze the top. And of course you are given the little brush to do actually do that with just a little bit of water. Not a lot, just a little bit. Another tool that you're given is a little razor so that you can actually put lines. Now that the baguettes have been shaped, they go back into the bread maker for approximately 45 minutes and then they'll be ready to eat. All you have to do is press start. 45 minutes is now up and our baguettes are ready, so let's take them out. They smell great. They look fantastic. Really nicely done, just the four of them. And look at this. And here are some examples of some other bread that we've made, some wholemeal bread and our wonderful French baguettes that have been made from the Tefal Breads of the World. You too can make these at home.